Okay, folks, in this video, I'm going to show you how to edit the recipe card so that you can add the save to recipe box button. And we have a message here about want to save your favorite recipes. We're going to show you, I'm going to show you how to add that in as well, that it's a little information note telling people how to use the recipe box. Okay, so editing the recipe cards can be quite complicated there's a lot a lot of information in this so i'm going to keep this video really short and just to show you those couple of features it's probably a good introduction into it and later on i'm going to do a more extended more in-depth video into how to edit the recipe cards so it'll be good for that so we need to this can be tricky we need to pay good attention to this because if we make little mistakes it's not going to show up correctly so we need to that's the thing we need to go into settings and up at the top we need to go into the template editor and we go to recipe templates and now we need to you can see that we have default templates that come with the plugin here and we have my templates that I have set up. So, and you can also import templates. And remember, I've given you the these templates to get you started to import as well, but I want to cover how to edit them as well because it should be useful. So what we do is we select a template that we like, and it gives you a preview here, okay? So you, you select one like that folks and i like the compact and poster is good as well and what we do now is we can also select our own templates there and see you can export them as well but we want to go up here to the compact okay and we will go clone and edit i'll just call it template for t u t or i l and we go okay there so what we want to do when we go back we will we will put the information for the recipe box just before pizza italian and the keyword vegetarian and we might put the button there as well so we'll go i'll actually just copy and oh sugar i'll just copy and paste that text there and we'll go add block so it'll be a text block and you see it says add text after and as we do you see the little highlighted green dotted line around print recipe under pizza see this and see the way as i move the cursor up and down on the left over the blocks the green targeting box moves as well to tell me where we're adding the text after so it's good to have that we have a spacer there and i'm going to put the text in there now and we can change the style to bold we don't need a header i don't think there's our text now and we can center it as well like that so there we are it might look a bit cluttered but i'm going to put the button after it as well so oh yeah we can change the we can change the width of the card as well to make it a bit more spaced out and look a bit nicer so we've added the block there i've showed you how to navigate to where to put it we want to go back to blocks now we want to go add block duty 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 and it's actually 
that save to recipe box is actually called the add to collection button but we've changed the text on it so it'll be recipe add to collection and we want to put it after the text we've put there and i go add to add to recipe box and then sometimes in the preview oh it is there add to recipe box it is there maybe i've made a mistake and i'll have to move it now it looks a bit cramped doesn't it but i think we can text no i want to make it a full width button and it pushes the rest of the stuff down but the stars don't look right now so it might be okay when we check it in the recipe card so you can see now we have an option for text there and there's a lot of features in this folks you really gotta go slow we can add a little icon to the button as well and then there's an option for the icon color there as well textile normal text we want to go icon we can even set a custom icon as well so that's there icon added go to collections text style text color here we are button color the border color i'll leave it like that and the color we can set the radius there so we want to icon icon add it there should be a feature there folks to there should be a feature there folks to change the change the icon color but i can't seem to uh, see it maybe i'm mistaken icon maybe the icon inherits the same color from the text but it's not showing up for some reason but yeah i'll just leave that but we'll um but that's it folks that we go back now and we want to save changes okay we want to go to template properties i mentioned that i want to increase the width oh no it, it already is 650 i'll leave that actually but here's the thing we want to go stop editing and now we need to go back to settings and when we go to our site you see this is where often now i see in the groups people are asking about this the templates they say that oh i've made changes to my template and it's not showing up and that's simply because they have created a new template but they forgot to change the default template to food recipe template and we need to go here and template for tutorial we need to change the default template that shows up for the main site and there we have it folks that um yeah you see there's no ratings for this recipe that's why the stars are not showing up but our button is there now and want to save your favorite recipe so you can understand now that how to set the button to full width and where to select in the sequence of the card where your where where you want to place your block so that's the basics of it folks and we changed the textile to bold and that so as i said there's so many blocks here to cover it's really it's a course in its own actually how to build custom templates for wordpress recipe maker and i will be covering that in the future so, but that'll get you started, folks, on the basics. So, see you in the next video.